Welcome to my series of Become Unbeatable. Here is where I'm going to teach you how to use any weapon system and strategies that you can implement in battle. And today's lesson, how to use TV guided bombs. Alright, if you ever wonder how these bombs work, look no further. This video will cover everything that you'll ever need about the American AGM Walleyes and the Soviet KAB. But before, if you enjoy my content, please subscribe and click on the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, I'll be tremendously grateful if you help me reach my goal of 1000 subscribers by liking my videos and sharing it with your friends. And finally, if you are thinking of upgrading your PC or buying a new mouse for example, you could check my kit store where you can support me by using my trusted affiliated URLs. Oh, and you can join my Discord where you can be part of my growing community and get direct help from me or others that are always willing to help anyone looking for tips. Find all the links pinned in the comments. Okay, so, AGMs and KABs work in the same way. Each bomb comes with its own TV seeker. This means that it can track your target by its own. In other words, it's fire and forget. The only downside is that in night battles, they won't work because they use the contrast of your target, and in dark environments, they simply cannot even lock on anything at all. Now, the most important thing to take into account is what's the BR that you are playing. For example, if you play in ground RB and you have a lineup of 8.7 with the A4E, you need to worry about anti-air vehicles of 1 BR above yours. In this case, it'll be 9.7. At that BR, your main threat will be the French Santal with a heat seeker missile of 6.5 kilometers of maximum range. With this information, if you don't know if your enemy has an anti-air vehicle, your main goal before dropping any bomb is to stay at least 2 kilometers above the maximum range of the strongest anti-air vehicle of your selected BR. On a dive, you can use your altitude as a reference, but during a level flight, use the distance of the center map's capture point. Before jumping to the bombing strategies, let's set up the following controls. Number 1. Weapon lock, air to ground. Number 2. Drop guided bombs. Number 3. Side stabilization. And number 4. Toggle view. Now, dropping bombs on a dive is very simple. Again. Climb 2 kilometers above the strongest anti-air vehicle's maximum range as your current BR. In my case, it'll be 8 kilometers for my A4E. This will provide you with enough room to let you lock before you get targeted. Open your air brakes and reduce your throttle to 60% to prevent you from speeding up. Some bombs come with a speed limit that you can check in the weapons stat card. With your air brakes open, use the side stabilization control to mark a reference and make it easy for you to find your target in the bomb's TV camera. There, all you have to do is to lock and release. Now, depending on your aircraft, climbing to 8 kilometers above the ground can be time consuming, and maybe it'll take so long that it'll be too late for you to help your team, or it'll make you vulnerable to faster planes that could catch you off guard. In that case, I recommend using the level flight approach, where at 2.5 kilometers above the ground and somewhat about 7 kilometers away from your target, again, using the center map's capture points as a reference, you can still get accurate drops. The only difference this time is that you want to fly as fast as possible under your bump speed limit, to increase its maximum range before it starts falling from the air. So, no air brakes if I wasn't clear enough. I've noticed that the level flight method has a higher killing potential depending on your enemy's vehicle because hitting on an angle can increase the internal damage compared to hitting from the top where the damage is localized in a vertical line. As a last tip, you can switch to your third camera view after locking on your target to increase your angle of attack or fly angle improving your bomb's trajectory. And. That's it! Now that you know how to use TV guided bombs, you are one step ahead on becoming an unbeatable player! Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video!